Hello, and today I'm blessing you with an eye blinking tutorial. So, as I said in the community tab, I was going to start uploading tutorials as the rate as Kazi. But the rate she uploads at is crazy, so I can't keep up. And I'm going to start uploading tutorials at my pace. Although this video was supposed to come out a while ago, it didn't because I was procrastinating. And when the time came for me to actually start editing the tutorial, I went into my editing app only to find out that the video wasn't suitable for, for the editing app, aka Kymaster told me that the format was not right. So I spent the past few days trying to figure out how to compress it so it will be able to be editable. And I'm recording this actually a few weeks after I recorded the footage for editing and a few days after I recorded my voice for the voice parts in the tutorial. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Go on to a light motion and import your parts. Now for the top lash, go on effects, distortion warp, and look for an effect called 360 degrees reorient sphere. It's the first option. set three time markers like so and place the keyframes under every mark. Go to the second time marker. That's where all the blinking happens. Go to orientation A and start scrolling. Once it's at the position you want it to be at, go to this strange looking symbol which I assume to be an S and start scrolling to a closed eye pose until you're satisfied with the results. When you're done with the first eye, try to replicate the same thing on the other eye. Now do the side lashes. For them, you only need the custom scale tool or the stretch effect. Go on this tool and tap here. Use the second scale to squish them down for the closed eye pose.
amount of the eye white, squish that down too. to teach you a little trick on how to animate the irises within the eye white. Here's what you have to do. Duplicate the eye white and drag the duplicated layer above the irises. Tap on the eye white above the irises and go on to Blending and Opacity. Scroll all the way down to Mask, tap on it and click on the first image that says Mask. Good. Now if you try to move the irises around, they don't come out of the eye white. Let's do the bottom lashes now. All you have to do is place your three position keyframes, go to the second time marker, and move the bottom lashes up. You might also have to custom scale them if they go too much into the eye white. This part is optional. Go onto the irises and place your three keyframes. Move the irises down when the eye closes. This next part is very optional. I'm adding curves, cause I can. Adjust to your liking. I sped up the blinking and made the layer longer.
Export it when you're happy with the outcome. from Professor Aviva. A lot of you ask me how to do this to the point where it's not even funny anymore. And I've tried explaining in the comments in every way, shape, and form how it's done. In this half of the video, I am going to try to teach you how to move the pivot point. But first, I am going to explain what the pivot point is in the editing app terms and what it does. The pivot point is that dot in the middle of your screen that you find in most editing apps they use to tween. In some apps like QCut, it is obnoxiously large and covers half of all the parts you're trying to animate. And in some apps like Alight Motion, it's small. But it still bothers me sometimes when I try to animate the nose of my characters, but we don't speak of that. The pivot point determines how your layer rotates. So for those of you telling me that your arm is rotating all over the place, it's because the pivot point is supposed to be on the arm, not wherever it is. Here's how to get the pivot point and how to move it. Tap on the layer and go on Move and Transform. See this strange looking cross made of arrows? Tap it and a dot will appear in the middle. Use this empty space, which I call a pad, to move it around. There you go. Place it where you want, or rather, where joints rotate like the knees and elbows. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand. Go on to a light motion and import your parts. Oh boy, I can't read now. Go to the second time marker. That's where... Oh wait, um, that's not where I'm supposed to... Now set three time markers, like so, and place the keyframes under every time marker. Ooh. Are you serious right now? Sorry. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So I heard you talking. I was like, what's going on? Right, I'm going to leave. Okay, you know that these are going to be bloopers, right? I'm going to add this onto my video. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Go away. I was going so well. Go to orientation, A, and start scrolling. Once it's at the position you want it to be. Why do I keep messing this up? <laughs> 